Now this benzoyl peroxide in the presence of sunlight the peroxy bond present in between oxygen and oxygen this bond OO sigma bond is called as peroxide bond this peroxide bond undergoes homolytic cleavage to produce two moles of PH C double bond O O as radical benzyl oxy radical here the formed benzyl oxy radical PH C double bond O O radical is going to interact with neutral ethene molecule so the produced radical will promotes homolytic cleavage of pi bond in ethene what is ethene here it is monomer for the formation of our desired polymer now ph c double bond o sorry before this step sorry for this before this step the formed radical will participate in this specific reaction that means loss of carbon dioxide takes place and generation of phenyl radical now in the chain initiation step chain initiation step the formed phenyl radical reacts with monomer which monomer we would like to consider here that is ethene molecules as monomers now the phenyl radical promotes homolytic cleavage of pi bond in the molecule and produces ph radical plus i would like to explain in detailed manner ch2 ch2 here is one radical here is one radical remember when any bond undergoes homolytic cleavage this homolytic cleavage is indicated with fish hook arrow there is the formation of free radical at respected carbon atoms now the formed carbon radical is attracted by phenyl radical and produces ph ch2 ch2 radical now in next step what is the next step here chain propagation in chain propagation step the formed ph ch2 ch2 radical is going to react with n number of ch2 double bond ch2 monomers now the same thing happens here the presence of radical can promote the homolytic cleavage in this bond and produces ph ch2 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 radical so we would like to consider it as n next in the last step what is the last step in this reaction or in this polymerization chain termination chain termination reaction or chain termination process in chain termination process the formed free radicals ph ch2 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 radical and one more similar type of uh, radical what is that ph ch2 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 taken n ch2 radical in the last step which is called as chain termination step the two free radicals interacts with each other and produces let us consider the remaining or same ph then ch2 it is connected to ch2 it is connected to ch2 we have to use a bracket here n followed by ch2 up to this the same species now this carbon is going to make a sigma bond with this carbon and continuously ch2 this is the newly formed bond here this is the newly formed bond ch2 here let us continue from here ch2 ch2 taken n ch2 ph so this is the polymer resulting from polymer 
resulting from free radical polymerization once again by using free or the polymerization reaction which initiated by poly free radicals are called as free radical polymerization reaction generally these free radicals are produced from radical initiator like benzyl peroxide acetyl peroxide tertiary butyl peroxide now let us take an example of benzyl peroxide this is the structure of benzyl peroxide when this is exposed to sunlight or photolight the homolytic cleavage of peroxy bond takes place to produce benzyl oxy free radicals now the formed radicals are going to eliminate carbon dioxide itself to produce phenyl radical now the phenyl radical now participates in chain initiation step in the chain initiation step phenyl radical interacts with neutral monomer that is ethene to produce two radicals here so one carbon radical attracted by phenyl radical to produce this radical now the formed radical is going to react with n number of monomers to produce a long chain in the last step that is chain termination step the two different polymeric radicals interacts with each other to form a sigma bond via by this they are going to produce or they are going to form a desired long carbon chain which is called as our polymer so this is addition polymerization which is also called as chain growth polymerization so just observe here in each step we are going to extend chain so how many types of chain growth polymerization or addition polymerization two types the two types of addition polymerization reactions are ionic polymerization and free radical polymerization ionic polymerizations are two types they are cationic uh, polymerization and anionic polymerization what are the definitions expected for cationic polymerization and anionic polymerization those polymerization reaction which are initiated by cationic species are called as cationic polymerization these cationic polymerization uh, takes place in the presence of lewis acids whereas the polymerization reaction which takes place in the presence of anionic species or which promotes in the presence of which initiates in the presence of anionic species are called as anionic polymerization generally the more electronegative groups or more electron withdrawing groups can promote anionic polymerization and the last one last type of one more addition polymerization or chain growth polymerization is free radical polymerization reaction here the free radical polymerization reactions are initiated in the presence of free radicals but to produce free radicals we have to use radical initiator in the reaction so these radical initiators when exposed to photolysis there is a formation of radicals the form of radicals are going to promote our reaction in three steps for the completion of preparation of our desired polymer uh, chain initiation chain propagation chain termination this is addition polymerization or chain growth polymerization